There's something very sus about Brute Bonnet. While the past Paradox Pokemon are the coolest bunch around, I find myself so fascinated with the funny looking mushroom. Very clearly, this Pokemon is meant to be a prehistoric version of Amoongus, or at least a Pokemon that comes from the past that bears a striking resemblance to Amoongus. And so, because we're unsure of their exact connections, and because there are some weird things about Brute Bonnet that make me ask several questions, why not try to answer some? At first glance, one might think it's simply an Amoongus with a fancy little curtain covering its face. But upon on closer inspection, it's got legs, and, and not just two legs, four legs, and a big ol' tail. Well, when we grab an issue of everybody's favorite magazine, A Culture, we find out that this bizarre creature is said to combine traits of dinosaurs with those of the Pokemon Amoongus. Brute Bonnet certainly resembles Amoongus, though with its own unique twists. Its gigantic structure and seemingly low intelligence combine to make it a savage, powerful fighter. While we do have to take all information we learn about Paradox Pokemon with a grain of salt because their exact origins are just so unclear, let's roll with this one for a bit. So this Pokemon lives up to its name by being a brute, but uh, what was that part about dinosaurs? That it combines dinosaurs with Amoongus? Very weird to see the word dinosaurs used in Pokemon, though that's definitely an accurate way to describe Pokemon like these. But does that then make Brute Bonnet some kind of crossbreed? I mean, sticking a dinosaur tail onto an existing Pokemon is an easy way to make it prehistoric, though I think the answer is something we've seen before in Pokemon. What if Brute Bonnet is the result of spores from Amoongus latching onto a dinosaur Pokemon, growing until it completely controls it? That would explain why it looks like a quadrupedal dinosaur that has its head replaced with an Amoongus. And it isn't even too far-fetched because based on Pokedex entries of Parasect in the past, we know that the concept of fungus taking over a host body to form a Pokemon is a normal occurrence. I feel like there's a good amount of relation amongst the mushroom Pokemon, so what I think is going on with Brute Bonnet is that Amoongus of the past went about living in such a way. Perhaps they weren't strong enough to survive by themselves in that environment, so they adapted to spread their spores onto a dinosaur-like creature that was easy to control. This creature could have been a dark type based on Brute Bonnet's typing. And then of course it, along with the other Paradox Pokemon, was brought to Area Zero in modern day through the time machine and that's how we ended up with Brute Bonnet. Or it could have even been possible that spores from modern day Amoongus latched onto the Pokeballs that were sent back in time to catch the prehistoric Pokemon and were introduced to a vulnerable target, thus creating this monstrosity. Gee, time traveling fungus, that sounds vaguely familiar. I really hope bringing a violent mushroom Pokemon from the future and releasing it into a less developed ecosystem has no negative consequences. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Anyway, I think this would be an interesting explanation, especially because Amoongus' new Pokedex entry reinforces how dangerous its spores can be. And the fact that Amoongus appears in Paldea at all makes this plausible. It would even explain why a prehistoric Pokemon is able to have a Pokeball pattern on its body. Although, when we take a look at Fungus' new Pokedex entry, it states that... There is a theory that the developer of the modern-day Pokeball really liked Fungus, but this has yet to be confirmed. So this implies that the Fungus evolution line has always looked like this and that the Pokeball design was inspired by them, rather than them evolving to look like Pokeballs. But if we do want to believe the whole deadly time-traveling Fungus theory, then that means modern-day Amoongus evolved from Brute Bonnet, which originated from modern-day Amoongus? See, this is why I can't deal with time travel, it just creates a bunch of paradoxes and all futures lead to a fungus apocalypse no matter what happens. But if anything, no time travel shenanigans involved, the existence of Brute Bonnet and that one Pokedex entry hint that Fungus and Amoongus have always looked like this and that Pokeballs came later. I've always liked this evolution line of Pokemon despite the fact that they were clowned on for being a little goofy. But with how good Amoongus ended up being competitively with good bulk moves like Rage Powder, Spore, and the Regenerator ability, I guess it had the last laugh. It's kind of weird that Brute Bonnet would be introduced at all because it's a slightly bulkier Amoongus, but this time has enough points in attack to finally punch back. Though I feel like the Grass and Poison was a better defensive type combination and losing the Regenerator ability does hurt. I at least love this funky fungus dinosaur for being so weird and unhinged because that's exactly what I love about some Pokemon. And adding some diversity to the weird bunch of prehistoric Pokemon is good. But let me know what you think about Brute Bonnet, especially if you have any input for its origin. Not sure if I'll do more one-off videos about too many other Paradox Pokemon, mostly just some of my favorites, but we'll see. For now, I'm just glad that the Savage Beast is a thing of the past. Who knows? what damage it could cause in the future. Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the Great Gators. Jackson, Justin R, Cosmo Zero, Michaela, Mr. Pig Puncher, Phantom Pyro, Quago, Volity, and Pastel Blood. 
If you'd like to support as well, get a shout out here as well as access to emotes and comments and live streams, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter for more memes. Anyway, this has been GatorX, and I'll catch you all later. Cliffhanger week on Pokemon! Brock is turned into a doll, these Gyarados want to eat Pikachu, and Ash has been turned into a ghost! Will everything be okay? We don't know! What? We don't know! The episodes all ended before we could find out what happened! But I want to know! Right! Tune into Pokemon Cliffhanger Week to find out starting Monday on Kids WB! Check it out! I found a rare Pokemon too! Wait! Yeah. Don't touch it! Huh? Fungus! Yeah.